Look at all these triggers. Yup. Yup. And these are all like rogues, so everything triggers File Smasher. Look at that. Oh my god. A sight of beauty. What's up and welcome everybody to a new Outlaws of Thunder Junction standard video. And in this video, we're once again looking at some early access footage as we're slowly counting the days till the set drops on MG Arena on April 16th. But do I have a banger for you today? This deck was so awesome. Like, I can't, I can't describe how much I love this deck. Like, this is just perfection. Move over, Esper Legends, because there is a new Legends deck in town, and it's no other than Junt Legends, or as I like to call it, Junt Crime Lords, because yes, we're once again combining legendary creatures with committing crimes because it is just so incredibly good. All right, so what do we get by being in green with the legends? We get Vraska joins up, and this card is fantastic. Two mana legendary enchantment from the new set. When Vraska joins up, enters the battlefield, put a death touch counter on each creature you control. Not bad. And whenever a legendary creature you control deals combat to a player, draw a card. And this is literally Gix on like a stick like imagine a turn two gix that kind of is really difficult to remove that's what this is while also giving your creatures death touch if you need it which is also just so incredible raska joins up is so worth it like i, I think this card could even see play in like golgari midrange decks that just have a lot of legends but it's perfect for uh this junt legendary deck anyways so we're committing crimes and the best way to do that in a legendary deck or in general is tiny bones joins up uh, when it ends the battlefield, any number of target players each discard a card, which is committing a crime. And whenever a legendary creature enters the battlefield under your control, any number of target players each mill a card and lose one life, which is committing a crime. So whenever a legendary creature enters the battlefield, we commit a crime. Now, a card that's really good with that is Magda, the Horde Master, another card from OTJ. Whenever you commit a crime, you create a tapped treasure token. Triggers only once each turn. But if you have ways to, create, to um, commit crimes instant speed, like spot removal in the form of Gopher Throat, you still get to also create a treasure on your opponent's turn. Um, you can then sacrifice two treasures to create a 4-4 Scorpion Dragon creature token with haste and um, flying. But one of the best things to do with this treasure creator is ramp into some powerful five drops. And there we have Giza the Hellraiser, who is fantastic. Like this card is so good. Five mana, 4-4, legendary creature, human warlock with war two, pay to life. It gives your skeletons and zombies a 1-1 counters or uh, get plus 1 plus 1 and have menace. And whenever you commit a crime, you create two tapped 2-2 two, two blue and black zombie rogue creature tokens. So you, when you commit a crime with Giza, you basically add an additional 6 power to the board. She gets out of hand pretty, pretty quickly. Like this is kind of like a kill on sight or you will lose the Giza. Another fantastic 5-drop in Golgari colors, so perfect for our Gen Legend Zack, is the Good Rock Revenous Ride. 5 mana, 6 5 legendary creature frog horror mount, trample and haste. Whenever Gitrog deals combat damage to a player, you may sacrifice a creature that settled it this turn. If you do, draw X cards and put up the X land cards from your hand onto the battlefield tapped, where X is, a, no, is the sacrificed creature's power and the settle cost is 1. Now, this card is great by itself, but even settling it is just like fantastic. Um, what I also like is Gitrog in combination with Vraska joins up. I mean, <laughs> trample. And Death Touch is always uh, super nice. I mean, Gidrock is incredibly powerful. This card should not have haste, but it does. And um, Golgari fans are, are grateful for it. Another cool card in the Junt Colors, we're looking at Rectals here, is Laughing Jasper Flint. And I got a lot of value out of this thing. This is a 3 mana 4 3 legendary creature that says creatures you control but don't own are mercenaries in addition to their other types. And at the beginning of your upkeep, exile the top X card of target opponent's library, where X is the number of outlaws you control. Until the end of turn, you may cast spells from among those cards and mana of any type can be spent to cast those spells. And Jasper literally just <laughs> stole like all the fantastic cards right out of my opponent's library. And um, especially in a deck like this, where we have quite a lot of like outlaws in there, like there's a lot of rogues, a lot of mercenaries, warlocks. Jasper, uh, Jasper did a fantastic job at giving us good value. Just a fantastic three mana engine. What's not to love? We're playing Vadmir New Blood because the card is just super nice in combination with Tiny Bones joins up. And when you're committing crimes in general, whenever you commit a crime, put a 1 1 counter on Vadmir. I'm also playing Vile Smasher for a little bit of uh, extra power. Whenever another outlaw ends benefit in your control, it deals 1 damage to target opponent. So it's another way to uh, commit a crime when a legendary creature enters the battlefield. 
Also playing Hajar, which is the card, a gruel card that's been around for a while. Three ma two mana, three, three. You can sacrifice it to protect your legendary creatures. They get indestructible until they end a turn, which is just neat. <laughs> like, it's just neat. Whenever I play like a Legends deck in red and green, I always have Hajar in there. And also, whenever I have a Legends deck in green, I play Enmiss Might. Three mana, sorcery removal. Goes two less to cast if it targets a legendary creature control. So in a legend deck like this, it's one mana. Target creature you control deals damage equal to twice its power to target creature or planeswalker you don't control. This card is fantastic also with like all the Death Touch card and like Vraska joins up as well. This deck was just super powerful. The legends work together so nicely. Once again, like the crime theme fits in it like perfectly. So yeah, move over Esper. We got a new legends deck in town and that is exactly... What this Junt Legends deck does. Definitely one of my favorite brews from early access. Cannot wait to start playing this on the ladder as well and see if it holds up. But uh, it definitely made people's lives miserable in, uh, in early access. And probably on the ladder soon enough. We'll find out. But um, yeah, that's that's it for the deck deck. Thank you so much for, um, you know, supporting the channel. But don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. Because there are a lot more Thunder Junction brews on the way very soon when the second drops on Arena. So you don't want to miss out on those. And the best way to not miss out is through subscribing. And that's it, gamers. Let's get into some Junt Crime Lords gameplay. This video is brought to you by Ultimate Guard. Ultimate Guard provides you with premium protection for your trading cards like their incredible Katana sleeves, which are my absolute favorite for saving up my magic decks. Ultimate Guard has everything you need to keep your magic cards safe, secure, and stylish. If you're interested in getting the best sleeves on the market, make sure to use my link in the description below. <laughs> Um, all right, 24 lands get two lander. Like, at one point, I will enter my villain era, and nobody's gonna be fucking ready, dude. Like, I play 18 lands, I get the five lands on curve. I play 24, two land opening hand. Such a you saw, yeah. what is that meme? The fucking Scarlett Johansson and like, what was it, Adam? Adam Driver, like, you're such a dick. <laughs> That's literally me in the shuffler. Like, if anybody has that video, that's me in the fucking arena shuffler. I can't, like, I can't. Every damn day. Every day we have to fight. Yeah. <laughs> Every day we gotta fight, man. Can't win. Yeah, can't win. All right, at least that Corpoline Gorge of the top was good, so we'll take it. <laughs> Mythic on the pre-release client. That is Dwayne. Sure, I'll give Death Touch to Hajar, I guess. Why not? Draw me card, Hajar. All right, Shuffler is behaving now. <laughs> Justice. It's true. Like, this is what we've, you know, this is what we deserve. Did you just Field of Ruin? Listen, when I played Field of Ruin in this really cool looking mono black skeleton deck, it was a disaster and I still cry about it. <sighs> Justice was not found. Enemies might like these fight spells with like Vraska joins up is pretty gas actually. Og, all right. Crimes are being committed. Vetmir is sick AF though. Like, yeah, I'm obsessed. That is a slay. Everywhere from everything, the card itself to like. The fit. Everything three power. Ah, hell no, nah. too many lands. I guess I got like Takanuma and Soken Sun though.
Rascal joins up is drawing us a good amount of cards for sure. For sure. Crime, committing crimes. Um, surely we can find a legendary here, right? Is that Gidrog? Get your ass over here. Get your ass over here, bestie. Um, you're not an outlaw, but that's fine. I think we still just win here. Get rolled. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Well, at least the Shuffler ended up giving us lands. Like, if you consider that we started off with two lands there, you know. All right, I'll try it. I see Tiny Boats joins up. I'm keeping that shit. Not that we really have any, like, crime cards in our hand right now, but, you know. Draw red challenge. Yeah, difficulty level, um, I don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. Tiny Bones is so baby girl. Oh, for sure. Like, for sure. Like, I really need to... looking the most promising right now it's hard to say like early access is always such a mess there's not really anything uh yeah can't really like definitely like, come up with something there slick shot looks crazy though that's for sure and like committing crimes tiny bones joins up also looks really really good Cut your cowboy hat for the pre-release. Yeah, me too, bestie. <laughs> but like, I don't know anybody at the pre-release that I go to, so... You know, it might complicate things a little bit. I just show up in a cowboy hat there, they might think I'm legit. Assemble your own glissa. <laughs> All right, give me some, uh, give me some crime, crime stuff. Yeah, like I've been kind of like holding off on the slick shot brew so far because I know it's going to be insane. Um, so, um, yeah. Um, <clears throat> I've not done it yet. I mean, surely we can draw something here, right? All right, great. I was hoping to find something like that. Rhymes. Thank you. Okay. Reska joins up. It's just like kind of like very, very nice in Legend decks. So perfect for what we're playing. Hello Alchemist is crazy as fuck too. Like that's a good card. Mm. Please give me that fucking Gisa. Or I guess it's Gitrock potentially. I don't I don't care. I wanna play Gisa. I haven't played Gisa yet. I deserve this. Gisa with tiny bones joins up, like fucking say less. Look at this stuff. 
This is what I've been waiting for. Thank you. Felt good. Good shit. Yeah, Gisa kind of like five men up, but like how much power is that? Ten on the board? <laughs> it's not bad. It's not bad. God, if Raska joins up, is getting value right now, though. Holy shit. These two cards right here. Goddamn. Good shit. We got Jasper too. Yeah, that was a lot of value. That was a lot of value. I see Tiny Bones joins up. I keep. Basically. Alright. Thank you. I try. Hey, yo, if it isn't Magda. I'm gonna get that set up. I'm gonna create these treasures. I'm gonna get this scorpion dragon. And I will thrive. It's probably a Kellen, I guess. Living out of fast lines is crazy. It, it really is. It feels insane. It really feels insane. Okay. That sounds very cozy, Nathan. Love that. We're uh, we're currently playing. Um, we're, we're currently playing uh, Junt Crimes. Junt Crime. Did Gisa and Gitrog at the top end? No, you can't kill that. We have a jar. A jar gives plus one plus zero and indestructible. So. Junt crime lords, <laughs> basically. Even though Grix's crime is where it's fucking at. Like, we played that earlier. Like, it was incredibly powerful. Yo, Minus! Thank you for the gifties. I appreciate you so much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. All right, that cleans that up. Um, I think I'll still play Vile Smasher too, though. Marche Marchesa was everything I wanted her to be in more. Like, I'm so grateful to be playing with a good Marchesa in this economy. It was great. Counted my blessings there. Come on, give me something. Ooh, Gisa? All right. I guess I will try. This could be a counter. I mean, hopefully not, but it could. Jar was a bird. <laughs> yeah, to be fair, I could see it. it. Looks like he's got like wings and shit. Anyways, yeah, this Gisa and like Tiny joins up. Like, we're literally slamming a turn four Gisa here. And, like, imagine. Look at all these triggers. Yup. Yup. And these are all, like, rogues, so everything triggers File Smasher. Look at that. Oh my god. A sight of beauty.
I'll like put it on top. I'll commit another crime that way. Amazing what can happen when the shuffler stops being a dick. <laughs> yeah, amazing. Crazy. Like crazy that, truly. Alright, let's try this. Get another Gisa trigger, get like two more zombies. Like it goes it goes hard. Damn. <laughs> Not too bad. Thank you for some value. Ooh, this is really hard. I want to keep everything. How do you? Like, no disrespect, Tiny. Go see. Thank you for the 26. Appreciate you. Thank you. Tiny joins. Tiny Bones is still with us in spirit. You know, Brissy Bill, what about him with Nissa, Animus, and Thrill Seeker? Yeah, it's kind of like the shit that you want to, like, be, uh, be looking for, I think. Mm, I'm just going to set up Vatmir. I kind of want to, like, remove the Ledger Shredder at some point. Okay. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, dual list and like prof is something that a lot of people have done or uh rightfully so. Looks gas, seems gas. Jace reawakened in that deck too though. Spicy. Mm. I'll start off by like removing Ledger Shredder, I think. And then I'll play Magda. Then the second I play Carvac, I can get Animus Might back. Oh, actually, no, Animus Might is. Oh, fuck, we're right. Mm, there's like a lot of anti synergy between Animus and Carvac, actually. Fuck, that's why we should have had gone down. Mmm. Damn. Doesn't work. Oh shit, it's Gisa though. Alright, girl boss, step it up. I don't know if Carvac fits in this deck. Not sure. Carvac is just great for like buying back. Spells from the grave. I don't think it's gonna work. Change to Gix. Yeah, probably. Probably. You're really a big Carvac fan, but like we don't really buy things back from the graveyard right now, so that kind of feels mid. Uh, Menace, Menace. Like, if I just swing with everything, am I not good? Well, let me think about that, I guess. So, just kind of like block these two. You die. Block this with two, and then chump one of these. You die. I think it's lethal. Oh, did um, Jim not realize the menace? <laughs> Stealth menace, yeah. That mirror is gas, I mean. Like, this just looks like... Mwah, like, wow. <laughs> wow. 
Yeah, in my criminal mastermind era, me and Tiny Bones together. Thriving. The horse, I don't know. <laughs> Ida, the horse is here. <laughs> That's all I can think of. Like, I just want to start drawing cards. Basically, like, two mana gigs in the right deck. Like, that's fucking crazy. <laughs> like, what the hell? Two mana gigs. I mean, what's not the love, really? This is definitely going to be like a Geralt mentor deck, I think. Oh, we got Vemir. I don't want to try like Jasper. Yeah, it's the mentor. I can't cast consider, it's just poor permanence. Rascal joins up as toxic. Yeah. <laughs> a little. A little. Come on, put a mentor in a graveyard. I can steal it with tiny bones. Day trade. <laughs> yeah. Cool said drawing us two cards, hopefully. Do we ever find out why? Tiny bones, his bones are so tiny. I don't know. It's probably something very private to tiny bones. I don't think we can just ask that question. A child. <laughs> oh shit. Tiny bones is a child? Shit, maybe a dead child? That's crazy. Tiny bones lore unlocked. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. That would be, that'd be wild. Oh, there you have Geralt. <laughs> Runes. <laughs> yeah. I wish I had a way to like commit a crime right now. I draw two cards at least. So that's a crime. But then they can just like reanimate it with recommission. Yeah, maybe I'll do Gisa. You know what's also gonna be crazy? That if we create a board with like... Also, that's a fucking zombie. Anyways, if we create a board with a bunch of zombies on it and then we do Vraska joins up, we put death clutch counters on all our menace zombies. Yeah, Gliss has counters to remove crimes. Or like to remove counters to commit a crime, yeah. Technically. That would be gas. Do it if I have it. If I had it. I don't know. The brother and sister wars. Gisa X Glissa. <laughs> Ayo, they were roommates. And they were roommates. 
whenever you commit a crime oh my god guys this is gonna go fucking insane by the way we're gonna create so many skeleton like we're gonna create so many zombies right now bruh we're we're winning the zombie wars We'll win the zombie war soon. <laughs> we win the zombie war soon. Um. We draw some more cards. Jeez. The value. Like, we're never running out of cards. We're never running out of creatures. Our bo board is never small. <laughs> like, the fuck? I don't know. It just seems like the ultimate, like, value pile. Like, the only way you could stop this, possibly, is, like, wiping the board. And then we still, like, build it back up just as quickly. And even, like, if you do a very similar thing where you commit crimes in the colors of, like, Grixis, you give yourself access to counterspells, too. And counterspells are committing crimes. <laughs> Which is why I think that, ultimately, the best way to commit crimes is going to be in Grixis. But, um, yeah. Let's commit more crimes. And create some zombies, Pog. Grix is very crime coded. Like, I'm not gonna play counter spells in like early access, but on the arena, like, ladder, yeah, I will. Alright, so now I was gonna like Vraska joins up and give everything death touch. <laughs> a bunch of creatures as menace and, and death touch is a very scary sight. Okay, we can try it. Yeah, we we tried this really cool um a cool like vein ripper cheat deck, but the RNG was not with us on that one, so we'll probably try again once the set drops on MTG Arena, you know. Kind of the only thing. Nah, I don't like reheating McDonald's. <laughs> I'm having some popcorn right now. <laughs> a little bit healthier, I guess. A bit. I mean, the first two weeks of any new set are always like a disaster anyway, because things get so messy. <laughs> Before you can figure out what's actually good and bad, like people, uh, yeah, it's going to be upside down. What did Goldfin Hydra do even again? It's something with like treasures, right?
This is interesting because we just get to like commit a crime. We can also steal a harvester. Hmm. I'll try Corpse Appraiser. Yeah, I think Jasper would also make like an incredible commander. Why do you keep tapping green, bro? Like, <sighs> all right. I tried, I tried, I tried, I tried. I fucking tried. Auto Tapper chose nothing but violence. Nah, I tried. I've seen so many greed gambits brews so far today. It's crazy. People are eating that up. Yeah, they're trying so hard. <laughs> Everybody's trying really hard. It's not even like game winning. Like you'd imagine it would win you the game on a spot, but like it doesn't. And people are so obsessed with like giving it away. <laughs> it's a cool idea though. It's a really cool idea, but yeah, it's not great. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of just what it is. Like, you have an environment where there's just a bunch of content creators and everybody wants to be have, like, the really cool greed gamut turn so you can shove it in a video. <laughs> just find the card being, like, meh. Like, pretty meh. Yeah. I mean, for sure, like, definitely a content creator created, you know, Reed's Gambit. <laughs> they have to have. Um... We're so close, like, we were so close to winning the game here. I had one more mana. I could have played Vletmir and deal net a point of damage. Shit. Arena clips for TikTok, yeah. Like, if I had a dollar every time I have gi been given a greed scammed by a falcon and, like, <laughs> the opponent lost immediately after, I'd have, like, six dollars right now, which is kind of strange. It's not much, but it's strange. I'd have it. 